What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. So, you know, like once you have uh, signed the like, did like relationships with certain friends change, like as far as like people acting different or saying you acting different? I mean, that shit is like a casual thing. Like, people say that shit even when, nigga, you not even nobody and then you just start acting different. Like, yeah, or yeah. niggas feel like you acting different. Like, niggas just be on bozo time. Young bro, so you know, how you how you deal with that as far as like, friends, like, was it any close friends you lost or anything like that? I mean, personally, bro, like, I'll pee on my guys, bro, but. I mean, I, I don't even worry about none of that negative shit, bro. Like, right. Stay away from that shit, bro. That's what's up. Right. So, you know, how did the actual uh, deal situation come about? Like, what was it that got you in the, uh, you know, locked in with the label? They reached out type shit for on BK. Oh, yeah, so that's the song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that shit definitely got way more. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got to ask you about the, uh, you know, the chain shit. Like, oh, I had yeah. seen you explain it on, on uh, live, saying, like, motherfuckers ran in the crib. That's like, right. So it was like, your people, is that, like, family type shit? Huh? Your family was there or something? I think you said Yeah, your... yeah, yeah. For my pops was in the spot and shit. Just me and my pops. Niggas kicked the door down and shit. On the story short, you feel me? I peeped niggas kicked the door. I tried to tuck my shits real quick, you feel me? Then, like, when they barged in the room, you feel me? Had the gun in my face. He hit me with the shit. He started fighting for my chains. Niggas took the chains, ran out the crib. Uh -huh. I mean, there's nothing I could do, bro. I'm not about to sit here and fight these niggas. Three niggas. Shit, they cause it. One nigga cool. probably was waiting out. The, the other nigga ain't even come in. I don't know, bro. Niggas is crazy, bro. You feel me? Like, uh -huh. jewels, bro. This is jewelry. Like, like overall, like, niggas don't be getting shit out of that. Like, you really look at it, like, they just be risking their lives. Pointless shit, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit crazy, bro. That's crazy. Hey, worry about that shit, bro. You feel me? I'm winning regardless, bro. All that shit is for me, replaceable, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, that's crazy. Your pops was there, though. Bro. Like, like, how he react, though? Because that's some crazy ass shit. When your, it's like, it's one thing when it's just you, but it's like when your people there, you know? Like, he ain't like, be like, what the fuck do you, you know, what you went to type shit? I mean, Bro, my pops, hey, bro, fuck that shit, bro. Okay. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't, niggas ain't, niggas ain't doing shit for themselves, bro. Fuck them niggas. Niggas really broke. Like, come on, bro, who do shit like that? I mean, you gotta be broke to run in the nigga crib. Yeah, so, like, is that situation some shit that could ever be fixed by, like, a convo or something? Or, like... Is it? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck with them niggas. Fuck with. Listen, bro. You run in my crib. It's no convo, bro. I don't ever want to even see you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know what that type of shit was about? Like you know some money shit, personal shit. Nah, it's just like hatred, bro. Like niggas see me. You feel me? These is niggas that I used to see on the regular. Like you feel me? Like just chilling before I even blew up with music, like, you feel me? Just because my mom lived over there in that area. Like, I used to see niggas, you feel me? They used to chill, see me, you feel me? And I started doing me, getting some money, you feel me? And peep game, you feel me? Some fucked up shit, some walkie shit, like some cold crazy, another shit happened over there. That's why I been stopped. I moved, removed myself from that area, you feel me? Niggas done, you feel me? Peep, niggas saw me on the rise, bro. They saw me doing my music thing, bro, you feel me? And niggas just did what they did, bro. And shit, that shit is fucked up, bro. At the end of the day, bro, for me, that, that don't stop me, bro. That just made me strong, bro. I'm still here, bro. I'm gonna still keep winning regardless. Yeah, yeah. you still doing your shit. You still got your life. That's what really matters. That shit, my boy. Uh, I just trying to do some research on that shit, because, you know, when I uh do the interviews, you know, I post the artists and shit be beforehand, ask questions and shit. And it was like another artist had commented, like, you know, he had something to do with it and said something like, it wasn't a robbery, it's fair exchange and shit like that. So it was like, 
Like what 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 happened before that then that caused that shit? Like did it have anything to do with you type shit or? Nah, bro. I mean, I just told you, like, bro, shit, shit is just hatred, bro. Okay. You know, like, it's nothing really, like, no beef. It's no crazy shit. I never had, did nothing to them. Niggas just see me winning, bro. They see another nigga winning. They see another nigga doing something. They see another person doing something that they can't do or they not doing, bro. So they try to, for me, take advantage and That's do whatever the they feel like they want to do, but... At the end of the day, bro, shit got them, gets them nowhere. Yeah. So gets you nowhere, bro. Another another thing I noticed, though, like, with the gangs and shit out here, like, you know, Chicago, we don't got bloods and crips and shit, but I know mm -hmm. other places that got on, like, they don't really get along, but it seems like here it's different. Like, it seems like the bloods and crips, crips kind of rock with each other. Like, is that... That's a fact. That's oh, a yeah. fact. I mean, it's, it's like that. Everybody united, you feel me? It's... I mean, back then, for me, before I was even born, nigga, niggas wasn't, it wasn't really like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, but for me, that's just like some Cali shit, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody linked up. Depends on who you know or where you from. Like, with, like if you grew up in that hood and he crip and he blood, depending on, just because they from the same hood, they going to be with each other, you feel me? Oh, yeah. So it's not like... Yeah, the same way as yeah. Chicago type shit. Mm. So like, do y'all get like structure and like big homies and shit out here? Or yeah, all that shit. You say you say yeah. Yeah, all that shit. Oh yeah. So you know what's next for you as far as on the on the music side? You got anything planned? Shit like that? Yeah, bro. I mean, I'm about to drop this next tape, my album on the way, and straight big hit singles, bro. Like I'm a blow, bro. By the end of this year, bro, I want a plaque or more. Oh yeah. Mm. So like out of, out of all the songs you made so far, what would you say like was the most important one to you? I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, I say them all. Yeah. They all important. So do you freestyle all your music, or you write sometimes, or make sure? I, I write and, and and freestyle. I used to I used to write a lot. I never really freestyle. I just started getting to freestyling, and now that I'm freestyling, like, I just feel it more. Like it's just genuine. You feel me? But like I used to write a lot. I do both now though. Oh yeah. So would you uh been in New York? Just and developing like... as, as an artist, my boy. You say what? what? Just developing as an artist. Oh yeah. Know? Like, do you plan on staying in New York or moving out, or have you already? Yeah, oh. yeah. I'm already for me. Plan. I'm already about to get the fuck up out of here. So. Yeah. yeah. You know how everybody say like in your city, that's some all the fucked up shit happening. So yeah, yeah. We're going. Going. So you know, like, how is it when you in your city, like, when you in the public, like, do people recognize you coming up to you? Oh, yeah, a whole like lot, that? a whole lot, bro. <laughs> Can't go nowhere. I gotta, I gotta. For me, I gotta be indoors. I gotta. For me, I gotta move right because can't just be outside walking. You don't know who's who. <laughs> yeah, fan yeah. can't be a fan. Whoever, what I don't know what the case may be. You feel me? I gotta move right. I'm, I'm an artist. Right, so. A whole lot of peace, especially out here, though. Like, definitely, a whole lot of love, hatred, whatever you want to call it. Like when you, you know, when your shit first start popping off. Like, was you surprised when people start noticing you? Like, what? Oh, yeah, not facts. Oh facts. yeah. Facts. So yes, like, bro. when could you say like they that start first start happening? Like, what song? Was I it? mean, like, in general, like, ever since I dropped my first song, like, people in Brooklyn would see me. Oh, that's. That's the, the kid that be twirling, man, <laughs> shit. I mean, it just goes up from there. Uh, yeah. Speaking on that twirling shit, like, what is that? Like, is that a dance or is another meaning behind it, too? I mean, yeah, it's a dance, you feel me? It's a thing, you feel me? It's a movement. I'll be seeing, like, hella uh, fans in the comments throwing a twirl shit. Like, I ain't know, like... Yeah, it's a movement, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Twirl, you feel me? Gotta dance. So you know where where that come from, like, cause I, I peep in a lot of y'all uh, videos and shit. Y'all be dancing and uh, twirling I mean, and shit like that. Tutu originally started that. That's that's his dance. You know? I just did it too. You know? That's a big ass movement though. That's that shit crazy. You just went with it. Hey, I mean, it's not like you feel me. 
I'm on some six nine shit, just still yeah. dancing and some shit. <laughs> I'm actually twirling, you feel me? So yeah. I could do that shit. And and I could and I do it great. Amazing. Fantastic twirl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shit me. All right, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, a fan base, you know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name, didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So for the artists that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap, I used to be a rap artist, and I had talent, but what am I paying attention? So I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in a direction of somebody that you feel like got potential, and should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos, it's the simple things. All the comments, I read all that, so whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you for tuning in. If you want to follow me on my social media, the 16 shot on visuals on Instagram, email booking raheem16 at gmail.com. That's the best way to get up with me.